magical people what is going on welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new so excited to be here so grateful to have you here sharing this space with me this is my first video of 2023 and we have a very exciting video topic to talk about today i've been waiting to share this information with you and i cannot wait to get into it if you are new here to the magic family welcome my name is jasmine atten mystic at the crossroads i am your favorite witch's favorite witch here on youtube and my channel is dedicated to teaching you how to manifest a life that you love through the use of candle magic, the law of attraction, and conjure. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, today we are going to be talking about success, abundance, prosperity. This video is going to be one part of a video series that I created for 2023 to help you all of us really to manifest and have a more successful and abundant life this is the time of year where people are setting goals they are trying to sort of you know make lists and make plans and figure out what it is that they want for this year and what it is that they want to grow and expand and the things that they want to do and really helping you utilize those specific tools that you need in order to make that happen easily and effortlessly so Today, we are going to be talking about a very powerful root. And if you have been following me for a while, you have heard me make reference to this plenty of times in previous videos and in rituals, but that is High John the Conqueror. Um, High John the Conqueror root is, you've probably seen it, you've probably heard about it. It is a very popular and usually readily and widely available route that you can find in most botanicas or spiritual shops that specialize in, um, that carry herbs and roots and ingredients for your magical workings. High John the Conqueror is this little powerful energy packed root is known for bringing success, is known for attracting the things that you need, especially when it comes to maybe situations that could be a little more challenging um, or something that you really need to be seen and heard, something that you need to gain the upper hand or victory over. You may have seen these in your local botanicas, which are the High John the Conqueror candle. Um, this is by far one of my favorite candles, and I only really use this for really big or really important things, but it can be used as your regular maintenance candles. Um, again, if you've been here for a while, you know what I mean by maintenance magic, but this can be used for all purpose, which is what I really like about it. Now, High John the Conqueror, one, is very popular and widely referenced and used in a lot of traditional hoodoo, you know, folk magic, but it can be incorporated in other elements of magic. This particular route, you will find a lot of talk about it when people are discussing court cases. It's one of the, I would say, maybe primary ingredients that is used in legal cases and court cases so that you are able to gain victory in your legal case favor and so that justice and and um, success in whatever outcome it is that you want from that case is obtained so you will find high john root or john the conqueror root uh, to be a very almost number one on the list as ingredients but high john the conqueror root can be used in multiple things i like to use this root for anything that you need to gain the upper hand over that you want to be seen or considered for, and that you want to ensure that you have a little extra boost of magical energy in order to be successful on achieving and obtaining your goal. So an example of that would be maybe if you're going on a job interview or perhaps an audition where you want to make sure that the spotlight, you know, that you were really seen as the ideal prospective employee or candidate for that part. John the Conqueror Root is also good for things where there are obstacles or maybe there's challenges. So if you are, um, let's say you work in a field where you are, you need to network, like part of networking or maybe attending networking events, if you're in a commission-based type of job where you really need that little extra boost to sort of get ahead, then High John the Conqueror Root would be ideal for that. 
A uh, little known fact, John the Conqueror root is also very powerfully used in sex magic, primarily around with men, um, because it does carry a male vibra vibrational energy, excuse me, and it can be used in various rituals um, for success, for potency and for success for a man to attract that ideal, um, you know, love partner and things of that nature. It's not as popular, people don't really talk about it, but I thought it would throw it in because that is one way that it can be used. Um, the one thing about high John root, normally the way that you work with it is it can be used as what's called a magical talisman. So it can be carried with you. Oftentimes people will carry this in a um, either a mojo bag or a little talisman bag. If you haven't seen my video on how to construct a little lucky charm bag for prosperity and attracting money, I will link that video below where I show you how I bless this and use high John root in that particular ritual. But it can be carried with you, which is probably one of the most popular ways to work with it. It can be placed inside of. So if you're doing a candle working, you can place your root. You would want to use one that's a lot smaller than this, however, but you can place your root down inside of a candle, allow the candle to burn down in its entirety. Once it's completed, remove the root and carry it with you. That way you have the energy from your candle magic ritual infused into this root that you take with you to said whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, for a root this size, however, I wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be very it wouldn't burn, the candle would have a difficult time burning and it wouldn't be a very safe way of working with this root as you wouldn't want the root to ignite and catch on fire. You could also place the root next to the candle as the candle burns down over the course of seven days to do your workings and then again, carry the root with you. Um, High John the Conqueror candles are great for combining with other candles. So this can work on its own if you have a situation that you really want to be successful or you want to achieve. You can burn this candle by itself, dress it with some High John the Conqueror oil. Um, if you have a smaller root, they come in various sizes. And the ones that I have here are a little bit on the larger side, but that's because um, I'm using them for a couple of different workings. And I like using bigger ones for different type of workings. And I will, um, there are some videos. I'll link all the videos down below where you see me work with these. But they do come in much, much, much smaller sizes where they can be placed inside of the candle. Um, so with High John the Conqueror root, it's not necessary. You don't always have to burn a candle. That is just an added bonus. But the good thing about it is this root is so powerful on its own. Imagine what it can do when it's combined with other things. So if you start to combine this root with um, in a mojo bag with things like, let's just as an example, maybe for money, you add like some cinnamon in there, you add maybe some um, allspice, uh, some cloves, you know, things for success and abundance and stuff like that. Now what you have is an amplifier because High John the Conqueror root is going to amplify the other ingredients that it is combined with to help bring about what you're trying to manifest and create into your life a whole lot faster. So it's a wonderful all-purpose root. It's very good for things to get ahead. Um, another example of how I would work with this root is, let's say you are maybe shopping for a home. Um, so you're going into the bank and you are hoping to get approved from a, a, a home owner's mortgage, right? It would be a good time to carry the root with you. Maybe you are going to make an offer on a home or you're going to see a home and you are hoping that your offer will be accepted. It would be a great root to work with in that way. Um, like I said, we've talked about job interviews, but primarily anywhere where you want to be seen, you want to be heard, Either you want victory or you want to be seen as the ideal candidate or just success in whatever it is that you're trying to create for you. I feel like everybody should have a high John root. Um, if I could wear it around my neck, I would, but I do wear mine in a lucky little talisman, a little mojo bag, and that is a very easy and probably fairly common way of working with the root. Another way to work with the root, also I did create a video on this, is doing a um, an oil lamp and 
utilizing incorporating the energy of the root into your oil lamp to attract other things so i um will also leave the link below to the crown of success oil lamp if you're interested in seeing how i work with those and how to incorporate this particular root for your successful manifestations of the things that you are working on um hi john the conqueror oil also is widely available there are multiple different companies that make the oil and what's important of course is when you are looking for a good quality conjure oil that it does contain the actual root down inside and there are a plethora of recipes online if you prefer to make your own you can do that as well but extremely powerful i love if i don't have maybe the actual seven day candle so if i can't find one or if i don't have one then I will use the oil to dress candles. You can add a little bit of oil on your root and pray over it and bless it and anoint it before you perhaps stick it, you know, down in your in your little lucky charm bag or popping it in your pocket for that day. Or some of us ladies will stick our little crystals and magical things in our bra, whatever you choose to do with it. But having it close to you, having it on you, um, charging blessing and enchanting it with your energy so it knows its purpose will produce amazing and powerful just phenomenal results so john the conqueror root i highly recommend it there is also a very rich history about john the conqueror and the belief about John the Conqueror spirit being inside of the root and all of those things kind of dating back to um, African-American folk magic and hoodoo. I'm not going to go into detail with that in this video, but there is plenty of um, information out there and YouTube videos discussing the history of High John the Conqueror root. So I do strongly encourage you to watch some of those. I feel that it's important when you are working with certain tools, herbs, oils, elements, for your manifestations that you really understand their background and their history and where they come from and how they work because if you're like me in order for me to believe something's going to work i need to understand it first so if you're interested be sure to do your research do a little homework on this but john the conqueror root can bring you nothing but great success good luck fortune and prosperity when it is worked with on a consistent basis okay so i hope this information has been helpful to you if it has please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos in this particular video series that i have created i'm very excited to bring all this information to you and also, leave a comment below. Have you worked with High John the Conqueror Root? Do you use it? Have you ever burned any of the candles? And if so, what was your experience with High John? I love to hear back from you. I love to kind of get an idea of some of the things that I show you guys, if it's something that you are familiar with, or maybe it's completely new to you and you are going to give it a try. I will also do my best to try to find some links um, for online where you can order High John Root. If you live in a place where there isn't a local spiritual shop or botanica, I know that they are available on Amazon. Um, I'll try to find a link that I can post where you can order them from there. But like I said, because they're so popular, they're really not that difficult to find. You should be able to find one locally where you are if there is a spiritual shop or a botanica. Okay. All right, my loves, thank you so much for joining. I know this was a quick video, but I just wanted to give you guys another tool that you can use and something that I haven't really had a dedicated video to on my channel in order to help Hope you be successful in this year in 2023 okay all right i will talk to you guys soon as always be blessed be well and manifesting your dreams is only one ritual way i'll see you in the next video